welcome back to the second video this week on the newly rebranded Cheap Eats channel where I'm going to be focusing on budget-friendly recipes moving forward, be that from the Dollar Tree or from other sources. This week I want to focus on some meal preppable recipes. I'm a huge fan of meal prep. These are some that I made last week. I love that it saves you time, it saves you money. I like that it gets you the biggest bang for your buck and gets you the most out of your food. The only caveat to it is that you're constantly eating leftovers, but I've never really met a budget-friendly person who wasn't willing to eat leftovers, essentially. So today we're gonna be making a breakfast-friendly meal prep. Now I know I have a tendency to do a lot of breakfast-related foods on this channel. I promise this will be the only one for this week. The rest of them will be dinners and lunches, but this is kind of a use up what I have in the fridge style, and I always have breakfast stuff on hand, eggs, bacon, things of that nature. So I figured why not meal prep with what I already have and then as I go to the grocery store this week, I'll film some of the other meal preps that I do throughout the week and upload them for you to, to see. So with that being said, let me show you all the ingredients I pulled out of my fridge and freezer and pantry and show you what we're going to be making today. So one of my kind of main essentials when it comes to meal prepping is always a carb a vegetable, a protein, and a sauce. So you'll you'll see that repeated throughout the week essentially. But for my carb today, we're gonna be using these buttermilk biscuits. These are the Mary B's brand. It costs around four dollars for the whole pack, which includes 20 biscuits. You can obviously make biscuits from scratch or you can buy the canned stuff. I really like these. I think they just taste just as good as homemade biscuits without all the mess or the time. Then of course, because this is a clean out your fridge style video, I'm gonna be using the vegetables that I have ready to go that are about to go out. So I have a jalapeno pepper, I have a bell pepper, I have an onion and a tomato. Use whatever vegetables you want. Uh, onions, peppers, and mushrooms would be really good, but I'm just trying to make the most out of the ingredients that I already have. Then for my proteins today, I'm gonna to be using eggs and bacon. Obviously, feel free to use whatever proteins you have. Substitute the bacon for sausage or even chicken, or leave out the bacon or meat altogether if you wanna make this vegetarian friendly. But these are what I have on hand, so these are what I'm going to be using today. And I'm all about options and variety, especially when it comes to meal prep so that you don't feel like you're eating the same thing every single day. So for our sauce today, I'm actually gonna be using this country gravy mix. You just add water to this. It costs about a dollar per pack, but you can also use Kraft cheese slices or make a cheese sauce or even buy a cheese sauce. Really any sauce of your liking, even salsa would be good. Um, I find that these Kraft cheese slices melt down and make pretty much a sauce on their own, although there are recipes you can use to make these into a real cheese sauce, essentially. So that's everything that I'm going to be using today. Now let's go ahead and get cooking. First things first is I'm going to bake my biscuits. I've put seven biscuits in a springform pan that I have oiled with a little bit of vegetable oil. You can brush the tops with butter if you want. I find it's not entirely necessary. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and toss these in the oven for about 20 minutes. While our biscuits are cooking in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and prep all of our vegetables. I'm just going to finely dice all of these. And now let's go ahead and crack and scramble a dozen eggs. I'm gonna season my egg mixture with some salt and pepper and a splash of milk or cream. I'm 
gonna give this a good whisk and we're gonna set it aside until we're ready to cook. And one last thing is for the bacon. I'm actually not gonna use this entire container of bacon. A pound of bacon is a lot. And I wanted to show you a trick that I use to make bacon go a little bit further because it can be a little on the expensive side. So I tend to take my bacon fully packaged, unopened, and I cut it into thirds. All the way through the plastic and everything. I'm gonna use one third of the package for our meal preps today. And the other two thirds I'm gonna set in a freezer bag and freeze those for a future meal. To me, bacon is more of a flavor enhancer than it is a protein. The main source of protein is going to be the eggs. So that's why I'm not going to use the entire package. So I'm gonna freeze this for later. And then with the bacon that I did set aside, I'm just going to go ahead and chop that into small pieces so we can fry it up into bacon bits, which is another way to make your bacon go further is to make bacon bits out of it rather than frying up the whole strips. Over at the skillet that I have preheated on medium heat, I'm gonna start off by frying the bacon so we can render out that fat from the bacon to use it for our eggs and vegetables. Once the bacon is fried up to your liking, we're gonna go ahead and drain it over on a paper towel. We're gonna leave the fat behind to cook the rest of the ingredients. Let's go ahead and start off with all of our veggies. Just pop those right in. It already smells so good in here, just from these peppers and onions. I sauteed my veggies for around four to five minutes or so. I just want them to be soft and for the onions to be a little translucent, but I do like the freshness of, you know, some crunchy vegetables in, especially in the meal prep kind of uh, adaptation, just because, you know, you're reheating things and eating leftovers. So having that kind of crunch makes things feel more fresh, even when they're not super fresh. Now let's go ahead and add in our eggs so we can scramble those. And now that our scrambled eggs are pretty much done, I'm gonna set those in a bowl to cool while we work on the gravy. For the gravy, we're gonna make it according to the package instructions, except for we're going to make it a little bit thinner than you would typically make it if you're serving it fresh. Since it's gonna be reheated, that's gonna keep things from drying out. So I'm going to mix this entire packet with one half cup of cold water. It is a cornstarch based gravy, so you have to mix it with cold water or it'll plump up. And I just give that a good mix with my fork just to make sure that it's smooth. And then we'll move over to the stove top. On the stove top here, I have two cups of water that I'm bringing up to a boil. Now the recipe instructions say to use one and a half cups. I'm using two because again, I want it to be a little bit thinner. And once it is pretty much to a boil, we're going to whisk in our little gravy slurry and continue to cook it until it thickens up. I've been whisking this for around two minutes and the mixture is starting to bubble and thicken up. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this a little bit thinner. So I'm gonna set this aside and let it cool for a minute. And now that all of our ingredients are prepped, we can start to assemble our breakfast bowls. I am prepping six of these today. Feel free to half the recipe, double it, whatever you need to do to make this work for your family size. I always make about six of each meal that I make. Here are my biscuits. They baked in the oven for 20 minutes and I've been letting them cool on the counter since then. So we're gonna start off by breaking one of each biscuit in the bottom of each bowl. Now I know I can hear you right now and you're saying, aren't the biscuits gonna get soggy sitting in the fridge being reheated? I've actually made this, not this exact recipe before, but a similar one and they, did not get soggy. They actually turned out really good, so I definitely would recommend this. So I'm just gonna chunk these up into the bottom of each bowl into little bite-sized pieces. I 
And I did make seven biscuits and I only have six containers. So I only made seven because that's just what I had left and I didn't want to put a single biscuit back in the freezer basically. You can obviously just use six. You can even use more if you want it to be a little bit more bulky. I'm just gonna take the seventh one and split it up between the containers so that each one is even. Once you have your bed of biscuits, now come the egg. I have this little scoop here. I love using this for meal prepping because it makes sure that I evenly distribute all of the ingredients and I find that a scoop is about an egg. So since I used um, 12 eggs, each meal prep should get about two scoops. And if I have a little bit left over, I just kind of start to distribute it between each one to make the most out of everything and use it all up. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our veggie mixture. I'm just gonna put about a scoop on each one and if I have any left over at the end, I'll distribute that as well. And lastly for our bacon, this is more of just a garnish. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of bacon at the top of each one. Scoops are super important when it comes to meal prepping to evenly distribute everything. So I have this one third of a cup measuring cup and I'm gonna use that to distribute the gravy. I'm gonna kinda do a little bit of a circle so it sits around the outside edge of each one. This will also help to keep anything from getting soggy as the gravy isn't really sitting on top of most of the ingredients. It's just kind of off to the side. And there you have it. Your country skillet breakfast bowls are ready to go. Toss the lid on these, throw these in the fridge. We're gonna come back for a taste test and I'm gonna to talk to you about reheating these in a second. And no recipe is complete without a taste test to show you how everything turned out. So I would leave these typically on the counter to cool for about 20 to 30 minutes or so. You just don't want them to condensate too much inside the lid. Then I'll pop the lid on them and throw them in the fridge and they're good for about a week or so. So this will pretty much be your breakfast for the whole week if you're a single individual. For me, it's a household of me and Michael. So typically these would last about three days, but we don't typically eat breakfast as breakfast, we eat it as lunch or dinner. So it just adds to our meal preps for the week and you'll see the rest of them throughout the week as we go. When you're going to reheat these, obviously they have a lid on them when they're stored in the fridge. So what I tend to do is I tent the lid, I just pop this corner off of the lid, I throw it in the microwave for a minute and a half and that's, typically how I reheat all of my meal preps across the board and it works out just fine. The lid keeps things from drying out. The vent allows the steam to escape. Everything reheats just fine. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Mm. The bacon is the perfect little smoky touch. You've got the crunch of the vegetables, the softness of the egg, you've got the salty gravy. This is a perfect meal prep, an excellent breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I'm super happy with how these turned out. I also wanted to mention a cost breakdown of all of the ingredients to make this. I added everything into my cart on the Walmart app and it came out to around $15 for everything total. Now, you're not using all of the ingredients, obviously. You're not using the entire pack of biscuits. You're not using the entire pack of bacon. So if we were to prorate the cost of everything, it does come out to around $10 for six meals, which is about $1.60 a serving. It is an excellent price for a budget-friendly option. And you can make it even cheaper. So many options for that. Make your own biscuits or buy the canned biscuits. They're a lot cheaper than the frozen ones. Comes with like eight or so. That's an option. You can leave off the bacon. That does add some cost. 
but everything else is super cheap. You probably already have a lot of the ingredients on hand, but again, around $10 and you can make breakfast for the entire week. So there you have it, country breakfast skillet bowls. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for tuning into Cheap Eats. I will continue to make these meal prep videos throughout the course of the week. But again, thanks for tuning in and I will see you guys in my next video.